Good evening, everyone. Uh, welcome to Life Group. It's great to have you. Um, so we've got our kind of little match of the day summary of uh, this week's sermon, just to remind you and kind of rejog uh, what we've been doing. So we're looking at Mark's gospel now, and we will be over the coming weeks. Um, and we looked at Mark chapter one. Uh, hopefully you, you've read that bit. Um, and I just want to remind you, we saw two things. Um, so the first point was that we shouldn't ignore the real Jesus. And Mark kind of draws out four voices that he wants us to listen to that point us to see who Jesus is, that Jesus is God's king. So he says that there's this voice of the Old Testament, Isaiah and Mar- Malachi, the voice of the, the popular preacher, John. There's the voice of God the Father himself saying, this is my son whom I love. And there is the voice of Jesus saying, the kingdom is near because the king is near. And uh, one of the challenges I thought of Sunday, it was to see that because Jesus is the king, he comes and he repents He says, repent and believe the good news. Jesus thinks he's got the authority to disrupt our lives. Uh, I I want us to to think that through. Do you you think he has that authority? What what would it look like for him to be doing that? Do we really see the real Jesus or have we kind of missed him? So I want us to look back over that and make sure that we see what Mark is pulling out to us, that Jesus is the king with authority. Because we saw lots about his authority in that second point uh, from verse 17 onwards. Um, and, and Mark is telling us to listen to him. So, that, so we had four voices in the first point, And then in the second point, there, there were four examples of Jesus's authority. So there was the example of him calling people and straight away they follow. The example of him teaching and they say, "What? who teaches like this with such authority? The third example was him driving out the, the evil demons. And the fourth example was him healing uh, Simon's mum. Do you remember all of those different ways that show that Jesus have, has authority? Um, but he also uses that authority uh, and he shows kind of unnecessary tenderness with Simon's mom. And we're going to see much more of that. I guess the big point that Mark wants to get across to us is that Jesus is good news for us because he is the king who's come to rule. And what we need to do is we need to follow him. We need to repent and believe, turn our lives around and trust him. And now is the time for us to sort of discuss that more and think about what does it mean for us. So I hope you have a really good discussion. hope you feel like you're getting to grips with Mark. And I'll see you uh, online on Sunday, half past 10 on YouTube.